What's up guys, Mike the AK Phony, this is Indie for Breakfast. Today I have a game called Anodyne, currently available on Steam for $9.99. This is actually a greenlit game. It's one of those games that you either put out on uh, Steam Green Lights. You guys go through, you give it the thumbs up saying yes, you would buy it. And then they release it and hopefully you follow through and actually purchase it. So we're gonna go jump in and check this out. This is a, uh, it's kind of a retro, a 16-bit retro uh, RPG. Kind of in the in the style of Crystalis, uh, Legend of Zelda, uh, the original. Uh, actually, well, the original in, in terms of retro ness, uh, not so much. Eh, a link to the past, maybe. Uh, let's see. Uh, mysterious voice. Hello, young. Hey. Oh, you can hear me. Good. Now listen. You're about to wake up. You use the arrow keys to move around. Unless you use a controller, like I'm using. Because I'm awesome. <laughs> There's my controller, awesome. What do we have here? So on the, uh, for those of you guys who have an Xbox controller, uh, when it, the game first boots up, you have a, um, make a pause it here, hey, hey, config. Oh, there's the config. I was just gonna say, there's no configuration, uh, but you can, um, you can configure it using, uh, if, you have the, if you have the controller connected, it will pop open and before the game actually launches, it'll say, hey, we detected a new controller. Do you want to go ahead and uh, you know, set your, set your uh, key binds and everything? Uh, it doesn't recognize the D-pad on, um, on the Xbox controller. Maybe it will on other devices, or other controllers. Uh, but it, I mean, as you can see with the type of game that it is, being uh, not a fixed or an X and Y movement only type game, uh, you'll have no problems moving around using the joystick. So here we have uh, auto save at checkpoints. Okay, cool. Uh, resolution scale. I'm not gonna mess with that because I'm sure moving that is going to go ahead and uh, change everything. So let's see. Save. Uh, no, 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 no. Cards. Items. I'm excited. This is straight up RPG. Oh, look! It even tells you how long I've been playing. Awesome. And it doesn't stop when I go to the menu. That's messed up. You will press the C key to interact with objects uh, and people around you. So we have an object here and an object here. Da -da -da. Screen is shaky and flickering. I hope that's part of the uh, the game. I'm certain it is. And you'll press the enter key to access the menu, which will provide you with information about yourself and uh, your surroundings. Awesome. Your surroundings, really? Oh, well, I guess map. Sure. I'll accept that. Ah, uh, here we go. There's writing scrawled on this rock. Sometimes, if you talk to people multiple times, they have new things to say. Yes, that is true. Learned this in uh, Dragon Warrior, and of course, it was beaten to death in uh, the original Warcraft and Warcraft 2. Uh, cloaked man. Well, it's about time. Er, I mean, greetings, young. I am Sage, the village elder. You have been summoned here because the darkness has spread across the land. The darkness seeks the legendary Briar to use the Briar's power for evil. You must first. Oh, you must reach it first. I can't read my own text while I'm talking. You must protect the Briar. The Briar is pretty important in this game. Okay, I can move now. What else? What else you got, Doc? Uh, enter the active portal on your left to begin your quest. And what are these? While standing on a checkpoint, press C to save your progress. Oh, hey, and set it as your respawn point if you die. Okay, apparently I'm gonna die some in this game. Saving, perfect. But the statue, the village elder, in name only, for he is neither. Um, how do I change my name? Am I always gonna be young? I guess I'm just young. All right, I'll take it. I'm young. Here we go. Wait, does it mean I can go other places? What other areas are uh, are blocked off? Ooh, and yes, they are blocked off. There are no doors there. Hmm. See, I have health at the top. I have the number of keys and everything at the bottom. Ah, okay. Jump. Oh, another checkpoint. <laughs> Game just started. We already got checkpoints. What the hell is this? <laughs> Stop catering to the casuals. I love the, um, I love the, uh, what was that stupid? I love the narrow look of the screen. It's kind of like a, it's a 3-4 instead of a 4-3. Like, take a 3-4 or 4-3 monitor, turn it on its side. It's pretty much what this is. Um, very reminiscent of 
um, what is the name of that stupid game system that was just terrible and that would doubled as a phone? I think that one had this resolution here, which I think is kind of funny that he's going for this. Because Super Nintendo games were not this, neither were Genesis or nothing like that. It's kind of an interesting style decision, let's see. An engraving on the broom handle reads, press C to sweep. Oh, come on. Is this like Dust Force the RPG? It is. What are these? Nothing. Okay. What do you drop? You drop a key? Nope. But you open the door. So I guess it's the same thing. Room based top down action RPG. Like it. Okay. I guess this kill you guys will actually move that door. Just like the other room. Yep. This key may be used a single time to open up a locked barrier. Does it mean I could go back to the beginning and uh, open up those uh, access to the other portals that are not <laughs> that are not in use? Probably. That would be an extreme waste of a key. No. Uh -oh. Boss fight. Oh, okay. Or not. Oh god. Is it Jason Voorhees? What the hell is that? Oh, they're trying to spook you out a little bit. The music stopped and everything. What is this? What is this? Your broom is now full of dust! Attack again to place it. Alright. Cool. I guess I'll take it with me. Cannot move it from one screen to the other. Okay, so hold on a second. What's the purpose of these here then? Is there a switch somewhere that only activates when you use dust? Or are they just teaching you the mechanic? Probably just teaching the mechanic. We'll go with that. Another checkpoint! All these checkpoints kind of freaking me out. Heads up! Damn. Uh, sorry about that. I was going way too fast, obviously. Oh, I've never seen you before. Are you a fellow traveler? Huh? You want to protect the briar from the evil darkness? Well, I have no clue what you're talking about, but it sounds cool, I guess. I'm gonna go ride my bike into a wall again. Can I see the spike? Maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. I'll let you know if I hear anything about that briar. Oh, uh oh, I can't move. No, I was gonna take the bike. Damn it. Damn. Oh, she rode past all this stuff. Oh, hey, health. Damn it, health. <laughs> health confirmed. It feels, it does, it's just funny, it, it's like, it, I wish I could play on the D-pad, because it would definitely give me more of a, uh, of a retro vibe. But, uh, it does feel very much like Crystalis. Uh, I'll bet you're reading a rock, because you don't have any friends. Damn, what a judgmental-ass rock, really? Some people have rock pets, pet rocks. This guy's gonna ruin it for everybody. No one's gonna want to be friends with rocks now because of that guy. Oh, you don't have any friends? Hi, <laughs> you're talking to a rock, and I'm a rock. What is this? Oh, it's a card. Cards, and you do what? I don't mind being watched by the trees. I don't mind being watched by the trees. Okay, these are just collectible items, I guess. Yeah, because they're not equipable items. Map, oh man, that, oh, that Legend of Zelda style map. And that soundtrack. Brooding. Can I slide into one of these? No, okay. Well, that was slightly off the path. Notice that there was an actual path here. The door up to the north. So maybe that was uh, something that I should know. Oh, well then. Let's go back and go to the right. All the way back here. I'm gonna need, what, four keys? Gate. The gate stairs, petrified, it won't open until uh, it sets us four cards. Oh, okay, so four cards, not four keys. Interesting. Music is like freaking me out. I'm expecting like adventure music, not like some strange, demented take on the Fez soundtrack. Which is, I, it's a good thing. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's totally like the 8 bit sounds, you know? Be stretched. Let's see. Uh, soon your skills will be put to the test, young. In order to make it through this temple alive, you'll need both strength and intellect. And I assume that by this point you have found a weapon? Yeah, I found a broom, dude. 
<laughs> I, I mean, yes, of course. A broom! <laughs> Just as was foretold in a legend of, uh, of Young, sure. And this is, I guess this thing's gonna... I've seen a broom in a legend. It was on the map of a janitor closet. I, I was just gonna say, I was just gonna say the statue seems to be what provides kind of the comedic relief here. All right, and this will take you back to the, I'm sure it'll take you back to that room where the, um, oh, the portals were. Oh, hey, an area I don't, I can't access, of course. Will I get something to be able to break that down, like a stronger broom? Like a Dyson or something? That's gonna be my next upgrade. Hail Corporate. Ah, here we go. Oh, hey, it's the dude in the car. Once a man came in and installed a mirror in our bathroom. I was afraid that there was a hidden camera inside of it. I scoured every inch of that wooden frame, spraying Murphy's oil soap into the cracks, thinking I might short circuit the wires. Of course, I never found anything. This temple is dedicated to the seeing one. I don't know why I came here, and I'm too afraid to go inside. Okay. I was wondering if he was gonna say anything, you know, profound following the first statement about his 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 uh his mirror. Grumble grumble. Uh of all the income Hey! What are you still standing here for? Okay. I get it. Oh, now we got some stuff. That is a little bit of bass in that. I see there's dust. And obviously, placing dust is gonna make a, a, a difference here. Like if I take this and put it here, there we go. And I get nothing for it. Obviously, this is nothing. What am I gonna do with that? Ah, here we go. It was a trainer area. Oh, really? I guess I can't put it right there. There we go. That's some thumping ass, like, laser beams or whatever these things are. Um, I can't quite slide it in there. Oh, I can walk on top of the dust. All right, cool. Here we go. Oh, what are these? Okay, sensitive spot in the back. I figured they'd turn around, but you know, I guess, you know, whatever. Another checkpoint! This game's freaking me out. At some point, I'm gonna start dying horrific deaths! What? Okay, never mind. This game sure is baby stepping you. First, they show you uh, a couple of, of beams coming out of the wall with dust blocking them just to show you that dust blocks them. It, moving them does nothing. The next room, you actually have to move the dust in order to get past certain area. Then the next room, they show you these guys with the armor uh, on one side, but they don't, they're not moving. And then the next room, they're actually moving. So let me guess, the next one, they're gonna be shooting at me, right? What are you? Okay, we already know these guys. Or if I can add another something, whoop. Okay, nothing. Now, I should be able to fall into this. Yep, okay. Okay, that was death. All right, I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna fall to the next floor. Oh, my dust got reset over there. But I have two cards. Oh, and the mob's reset too, okay. So every room apparently resets. Damn it, no. God, why'd you turn? This is the downside of using the, joy the joystick. Is that just the slightest, slightest nudge to one direction will turn you. Boom. We'll go ahead and save again. Come on, come on. Obviously, obviously if you guys have joy to key, you can, uh, Use the D-pad with no problems whatsoever, if that's something you'd like to do. I would actually suggest doing it. What happens if I use the broom on the, um, nothing, okay. Let's do the shot. What happens if I pick something closest here? Nothing, okay. Hmm. Oh, uh, does he block it? Oh, no, okay. So now, the purpose of this room is to teach you that those laser things can kill even their own. Aww. There we go. Well, I kind of want to go south, but if I do, then I'll end up resetting everything. Oh, what is this? Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Boy, everything in this game gives health. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. 
Let's go back. That's why everything resets. Come on. How do I move you up? I guess I have to... Can I push you further up into the wall here? That would make a little bit of sense. Oh, well, fuck. Well, I just... I messed it up now. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, then go around. Uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, God. One more and it's gonna be too far. Oh, I can't push any further up. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be the one to hit the uh, second switch. I thought for sure I could move him onto it. I just hope it actually stays. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if it was a hold or if it was a trigger. It was a hold. Why did I put dust on that? Probably bad things. Damn, stop turning around. Oh. Take, this, take that half pilot dust with me for, for what? Okay, so mostly what I'm saying is it's definitely a puzzle based game. Oh, wait, did I need that guy for a button or something? No, I don't see a button anywhere. And I don't see any other purpose to. Oh, there's a button back here. But that's the one I used to trigger to get in. So I have to kill that guy on the other side. But I can't. How do I get there? I can't. I can't break anything. And if I go around and kill him, and when I come back, it's gonna be reset. This will be interesting. Oh, now I'm back here. Ah, I don't have a key still. Okay, where do I have to go? South. South in the other room. And there's also a northern point, but that was locked, I believe. Whoops. Not so much an action-based game so far. There is some, for sure, but not so much the focus. Definitely more puzzle. Okay, that sound was different. I don't know what it means, but we'll find out. Uh, is my key? What does the floating light do? Because I can't see over the wall, is that why I can't see what's over there? Like, what the, what the item is that's putting out the light? Hmm. Interesting. I wasn't sure if it killed it, if I would get credit for it and get the, the drop. Uh. We'll go and save. Go bloop. Alright, so this is the room that has two entrances. Oh, come on. There you go. Okay, I'll kill these guys. No. Oh, thank you. Okay, so killing this guy is great and all, but... The second I go around, it's gonna reset. Hmm. I don't think I can't fall down to the next level. Every game needs that. That was my, that was my favorite part of Link to the Past, was like... <laughs> falling into things. It's kind of a stupid thing to be excited about, but... It was like trying to remember how far over you were. <clears throat> how many steps from the wall before I do this? Ah, oh, he stays dead. Good. Sure, it defies everything else we've learned so far, but so what? Oh, it really wants me to go around, doesn't it? Shh. I do what I want! Ugh. Oh, ouch. Right, big enough? There we go. Oh, come on. Nope. Jesus. There we go. No, what the, why, why do you freaking... There we go. God. Jesus. Okay, the range of which... The area that, that I cover with this the broom is a little bit too... A little bit wider than I expected. Every time I aim down to shoot, he actually ends up sweeping this up. There we go. No questions now. God. Uh-oh. I'm gonna die. This is where I die. Oh, isn't it cute? Precious little young playing the hero. But I have witnessed every step you have taken in the land. Capitals. Uh, and let me tell you, young, not everyone here is as honest as me. Uh, be careful. Who you trust. Thank you. Loading. Oh, God, I'm dead. I'm, I'm gonna die. 
So the area is called the land. Okay, not Hyrule or anything like that. Oh god, Jesus. I have one more hit. Oh, I'm not getting this guy once before I die. Ah! I've angered him. Oh, oh, dust. I don't know what I can do with this dust, but nothing. Okay, continue. Yes. <laughs> How far back am I? I have to do this again, don't I? Oh my god, this is a pain in the ass. I don't, I don't feel like losing. Oh, there's a dust right here. Oh, I'm gonna rage against myself. That is funny. I mean, it's not. I'm kind of disappointed. I totally missed that. So much focus on up here. Well, that guy's still alive. I can still go through. So, you know, what a. Isn't that cute? Yes, 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 yes. Hero of the land. I know. I know. Hero of the land, etc. Alright. Oh, pfft. Like I get like an early hit on him. Let's see if he slows down a little bit. I don't yet know what the purpose of the dust is. Whoa! Okay, okay, I know what it is now. Right? Yes, it has to be it. That has to be it. Yes, good. I have to hit him while he's doing this BS. Okay. Okay, and stay down here. And yo, he's gonna keep the same cycle. again. Uh, I believe I hit him more than three times, which is usually the standard for bo oh god, bosses and games. There we go. It's like five times. I will be with you, young, whenever you are alone. And remember my advice on your little adventure. Thank you, whatever you were, dude. That drops dust everywhere. Dusty face mask guy. Hey, oh, give me my health back, right? That's what, you're, that's what you're here for? Yep. Thank you, fairy. What is she? Is she? Oh, well, she added a bar, didn't she? She chiseled it out of the black background. That is awesome. Moving forward, what do we have here? At this point, if you're uh, still weak, if you hope to... Oh, you're still weak. Uh, if you hope to protect the briar from the darkness, you must face your fears. The card you will find in this chest, and others like it, are symbols of your growth, so acquiring them is absolutely vital to your quest. Yeah, I noticed that with the, uh, the four. The four on the door back there. What does this key do? Besides, be really over the top. Uh, so what was that? <laughs> It was okay. It was like a master key. I'm well, sure that's what it is. Master key. Ah, got his card. Like his essence. We've captured it. Acquiring cards is vital to your quest. Acquiring cards is also vital for other quests, such as earning credit or purchasing alcoholic beverages. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let's get out. Wait, there's an area we've not yet explored. Oh no, yeah, we have. Whatever. Uh, can I move this? The statue does not look like it will be moving anytime soon. Okay, which means I need to get, like, the glove, right? I know how this works. All right, so we've uh, finished that, and this, this is my next area. I mean, I obviously haven't gone in there just yet, but let's go see what's up here. More, wow, okay. So there's there's quite a few things to go and do. Just want to take a look at the surrounding area here. Just want to see what it looks like. Ah, okay, we've been here. Yes, yes, we have. Okay, and basically wants me to go ahead and continue forth. I didn't quite get anything. I got a, an awesome key, uh, but I do not know yet what the key will open. Besides, like the gate in here. Watch, go in here. Like, is this is this it? No. Okay. And there's nothing else really. So, hmm, interesting, interesting game. We were able to complete one world. And there are, looks like a total of, was a four on that side, three up there. Well, they, they're they all linked together, so it's like one land with all these checkpoints. And we jump in here, and we're, uh, and if you look at the map, you can see that we're basically on the, we're on the other side of where, uh, we started. Very interesting. Oh, I can return to the Nexus from any point? Really? Let me see. Oh, looks like I can. But why are areas blue? 
Hmm, it says door, exit. Hmm, so what's in the third one? Over here. Ah, okay, yeah, I can't, I can't quite get, get there yet. Yeah, I've not quite figured out how to get there just yet. Cool, but, uh, very interesting game. Uh, definitely something that, uh, it, it, it seems to be in some cases much more, damn it, much more, um, eh, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Uh, puzzle oriented than action oriented. Like, Legend of Zelda was definitely much more action oriented. We were running around and doing, you know, doing stuff. But you also had puzzles at the same time. But that's only so far. I mean, we've, we've got plenty of action here. But where every other room is like, move this mob here, put the switch, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of a nice little twist. I actually welcome it. Because, you know, yeah, Legend of Zelda was totally repetitious. Oh, crucify, here it comes. Oh. I need four cards for this thing. Oh, yeah, like three, right? Yep, three. So I bet you this is the one I'm missing right here. It's probably somewhere obvious. But cool, yeah, so the game's called Anodyne. Uh, developed by two guys. You know, as as usual, usually it's how it goes. Just a couple guys get together to make an awesome game, right? Uh, ah, here's the door. Mm-hmm. And it was greenlit by the community. And it's $9.99 right now on Steam. Uh, a fun game, a fun game. Definitely very retro throwback, right? For those of you guys who are still into that, I realize that uh, we get, it gets milked a lot. What does the science say? The words on this sign are faded. Oh, damn. Okay, I was looking for the sign painter. When is he gonna make a comeback in another game? Somebody needs to put him in another game. He was awesome. All right, but that's it, guys. Game's called Anodyne, available right now on Steam, $9.99. I'm Mike B, AK Phony. Enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.